Oh, 1.8, 1.8, 1, 2 million, 4 million. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mortal Gaming. This is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin. And this time, we're going to be talking about the newly released job class in the global server, the Paladin. First of all, I want to say thank you very much to Nino Edsgar or Edsgar of the Loki Guild in the KR server. So he is considered one of the fiercest and uh, feared paladins out there so it's we are very lucky to have gotten a chance to have a sneak peek on his uh, character so let's start now so he says that the paladin and i just realized that the paladin has a lot of builds we have the sacrifice build we have the shield boomerang build we have the devotion build we have the spear build and we also have the holy cross and Grand Cross build. So, as of the moment, he is using Sacrifice build, Shield Boomerang build, Devotion build, and Spear build. So he has opted to stay away from the Holy and Grand Cross because it would add, uh, you know, additional stats for him to improve. So he has focused on the first four. So he is using Sacrifice build mainly for MVPs and for Guild versus Guild and PvP activities shield boomerang only for grind devotion build for certain hard dungeons out there you can also use the devotion build when you are tackling difficult dungeons such as the Juperos dungeon Juperos ruins hhh if you are having a hard time there you can also use it on different types of other dungeons particularly on the upcoming temple of nightmare in our server so he's using spear build only <laughs> only for time space anomaly okay so lastly for holy and holy cross and grand cross i think he can use it or you guys can use it on different types of places okay so let's start with the stats if you're gonna be looking at the stats, of course, there are tons of uh, 99 stats here. So I'm just gonna be, uh, you know, informing you of the focus at our current era. So we have around like like around uh, 99 on one stat and you can uh, push the other stat to around 60s as of the moment. So in this case, we will be focusing on HP. That's why vitality is very important on paladin particularly on sacrifice and devotion builds so vitality is the one to go so if you're using spear in the other hand on the other hand you would only need strength agility and dexterity that is for time space right so the pros here of using or building a spear build is uh it's very good on pve most likely grind it's it it can be good and grind although it's melee it's also good and grind it's also good on um on different solo dungeons such as time space anomaly as what he have said on the cons it can be underwhelming on mvps and pvp so next is for shield or the devotion or shield build or devotion he has joined together the shield uh grinding uh, skill mode or skill build and the devotion build since you can fit a lot of uh, the skills that you would need for both builds in one skill preset so in terms of the devotion build you would need vitality and int for that one now for uh, for the shield boomerang you only need uh, you know strength and dexterity but for devotion you need vitality and int it can be good on grind, uh, on MVP, PvP, dungeons, Temple of Nightmare, anywhere. Devotion is really useful and that is one of those things that uh, gives the, the Paladin the trademark of a tank. So the pros, it's very much flexible. The cons is it's not, of course, it's not going to be good on solo dungeons such as Time Space Anomaly. Now. The next one would be Sacrifice. For Sacrifice, of course, you would now need Agility aside from Vitality. Agility, Vitality, and Luck. 
because sacrifice is considered normal attack that's why you can crit on it so you would need luck on the further parts of the game that's why uh, luck is needed here so it's good uh, sometimes on mvps but the, the reason well before you ask me why is it good on mvps in this uh, server in the korea server um, the damage taken is quite you know broad so when you get damaged because of sacrifice it counts in the damage taken score of the mvp that's why uh, he uses it on mvp but he also says that the choice maze sigil here is also working on mvp as compared with our server it does not work it only works when you get healed after getting damage so the damage taken does not count on on the mvps as per our as per our experience in the global server so i'm not sure if the sacrifice damage taken is going to count since the choice maze sigils or the uh the other gold sigils are not counting on our um on our server so we still have to take a test on that okay so please if you would be comparing if you would be wanting to compare this one the taiwan server and the north america server is going to be the closest to our server take note the only reason why i am showing a kr server character right now is because this is what i have and this is the people that i've known for so long and they are the, the kindest person that i know that would lend and make me borrow their account for us to to help us in the future of our characters in the global server okay so now the cons here is that not good for solo dungeons as i've uh, told you guys now um in terms of in terms of the uh, benefits of a sacrifice paladin it's easy to build you know why because the f the higher hp you have the more damage you deal to certain targets or particularly on pvp so the higher your hp the tankier you get right and also the more damage you deal so it's kind of easy in terms of you know uh, getting all of the gears all of the cards that you need mostly you would be focusing on hp okay so it's easier to build in terms of uh, what you have in the target that the hp uh, particularly because you all you have to do is increase the HP both for offense and defense now the cons it's not good again for us I've told you guys not good on solo dungeons temple of nightmare you wouldn't want to go sacrificing on temple of nightmare as long as you have a very good uh, priest together with you it's okay and of course it's not going to be used much in grinding since you would lose a ton of hp you need a ton of healing and you would most likely want an alternative you know priest to go with you whenever you're grinding if you would want to consider it for grinding but it's not advisable okay so now let's go to the skills for the skills he has opened three presets here i know it's going to be a lot of expenses and he has already honestly told me that it's not a free to play friendly uh, class the paladin why because you need a ton of investments and you cannot just use one uh, one build and then just use it on all of the activities that you need throughout the game you need different types of builds okay so he's he has here spear build or the spear stab the next one would be sacrifice the next one would be devotion so let's first talk about the sacrifice so for the swordsman it's the normal thing you would not want sword mastery or magnum break in this par part of the the game so all you have to do is level up provoke endure increase hp and the rest would be on bash now for the crusaders you would first go and focus on faith because it increases your uh it increases your hp and your reduction damage reduction next would be providence and next would be a very good skill which is the auto guard so that is already 25 skill points you would now want level one on riding and level one on cavalry mastery now the, the remaining points is now needed as a prerequisite for the skills of the paladin 
such as Guardian on level 3, Shield Charge on level 5, and level 5 Spear Mastery. Now, going to Paladin, of course, Tenacity would be needing Guardian, okay? So that's why you need this, uh, you, that's why you need Guardian to level up Tenacity. So 5 on that, five, 10 on Spear Quicken, that's why we have put 5 on Spear Mastery because it's a prerequisite of Spear Quicken, so level 10. And then lastly, level 5 on a Sacrifice. Now, Ref Reflect Shield and Defender also uh, both needs this Shield Charge level 5. So that's why you go for level 10 shield, Reflect Shield and level 5 uh, Defender. Take note that you cannot uh, buff both of this at the same time. So when going to PvP, since a lot of Assassin Cross would be changing to Soul Destroyer at the moment, then the first buff that you should be doing is the Defender. Then if you notice that the uh, the Assassin Cross or more Assassin Cross are dealing more uh, damage on Dual Crit, then that's the time that you go for Reflect Shield. Now, one point goes to Gospel since, uh, you know, one point, one skill point is going to be helping you by a lot, even though it's not that high of a buff, but it's still going to be very much useful. So Gospel is on level 1 here. The rest would go to Cavalry so that you could increase your movement speed because movement speed is life in the Paladin. So you have to get closer to the enemy as much as possible. That's why you need movement speed. Okay, so next, let's go to the Devotion. For the Devotion, it's still the same for the Swordsman. For the Crusader, you would now want to go for Faith, Providence, Auto Guard, Shield Charge. You would now opt to not go for Riding and Cavalry Mastery since you're just gonna offer yourself as a, you know, a sponge of dam damage from the damage. So you would need now uh, Shield Charge, Shield Boomerang so that you could open a Shield of Thorns and then go for Heal Level 10. Now, same for the Guardian since we need Tenacity. Now, for the Paladin, as of what I've said, 5 on Tenacity. And now you can now open Devotion. So go for Devotion Level 10. Level 5 on Salvation, and as a buff, you need to, you know, keep people alive in your, as a buffer and as a protector in your party, you need to keep people alive, okay? So, Gospel Level 10 is going to be a lot of help for you. Now, aside from that, let's now go to the Spear Stab um, part or Spear Stab preset. So same here, but more on Magnum Break since you would need Magnum Break such in such cases wherein the bo bosses on the Time Space Anomaly is Earth. So you'd need Magnum Break there. Next would be on your Crusader job skill. So we now go for 10 Faith, 5 on Providence, 10 on Auto Guard. Now we max this time Spear Mastery so that we, when we go to Paladin, we can max out uh, Spear Quicken and Spear Stab since you're gonna be using Spear Stab. The good thing about Spear Stab is that it drives with the, uh, uh, with the enchants, which I'm going to be talking about later, with the enchants of the uh, Sacrifice Paladin. Since if you're gonna be using Spear Stab, it can crit. So together with the uh, Sacrifice, which also crits, your enchants would be entwined with each other. So aside from that, one on Gospel, but you won't necessarily need any of this since he is only using this for the Time Space Anomaly. Okay, so let's go back to Sacrifice. There you go. Now, let's go to our gears, the most important thing, okay? If you're gonna be looking at this gears oh my goodness look at this this is so cool how much money is spent on this i was not allowed to you know reveal the nyan berry rebate so we are uh shying away from that part but as you can see a lot of red dots here which means that he has a ton of cards that are MVP cards, MVP loots. And if you're going to be looking here, we even have more 
MVP cards. But anyway, we're not gonna be talking about that. We're going to be talking about the weapon. So if we're gonna be looking at our level 80 right now, you would see that the level 80 weapons and shield of a paladin is now included. So if you're gonna be starting uh, at your uh, at your um, what do you call this one? At your journey at level 80 or beyond level 80, then this would be the set for you. So we have different uh, weapons for that. First of all, for the sacrifice, we have the Ru Blue Spear or the Cool Spear here in KR Server increases um, attack speed and lessens the damage of the sacrifice that uh, that your character or that yourself takes so aside from that when you refine it to plus 15 you won't have any limitation on the number of attacks that you could deal sacrificing your hp as long as it is within the 15 seconds uh, buff then you would you know sacrifice continuously your hp to dish out damage so that is on plus 15 so it's gonna be a big jump in terms of uh, the frenzy of those of those uh, paladins out there on pvp if their weapon is already on plus 15. if you're gonna go for a spear uh spear build then ivory lance is the one for you if you're gonna be going for holy cross and grand cross then uh this brionac would be the best one for you okay so in terms of shield because the shield is kind of entwined with the the damage of the paladin then the holy shield is the one for you in terms of uh in terms of um sacrifice and in terms of shield boomerang cross shield is the one for you and for devotion or pure devotion or reflect paladins naga shield is for you but as of the moment, let's talk about, let's go back to the weapon. For the cards, since the auto attack crits, then your crit damage is very much important. He says that uh, when I interviewed him, what about damage modifiers? He says that the only increase, the only cards that would be able to increase the damage of the uh, sacrifice is the cards that increase your HP per se, particularly next the cards that increases your crit damage so and lastly it is forced neutral so anything that increases the neutral damage that your character deals then that would also increase the damage by uh the damage from your um from your uh, sacrifice so in terms of damage modifiers such as hydra minorus he says that it does not work so i'm not sure if it now works in comparison with the KR server and the Taiwan server and the global server so we still don't know kindly let me know in, on the comment section down below if it works but as of the moment the only thing that I received in the only information that I received is that crit damage neutral property damage and uh, HP are the ones that would be increasing your sacrifice damage. So if you're going to be using Holy Cross, Grand Cross, Spear Stab, those uh, in even uh, Shield Boomerang, those are the things that could be increased by damage modifier cards. Okay, so with regards with the sacrifice, you can go for Rotar Zyro, Goblin Archer, those purple cards that has uh, additional crit and additional crit damage. Okay, so you could also go for Squidget or when the Looty comes, the Looty patch comes, uh, the Cruiser card or the Toy King card, and when the Komodo patch arrives, the Gangster Boss card. Now, for the Enchants, we now go for Sharp because we need more crit damage and a higher crit since we are lacking stats right as of the moment because we need three stats. We need Agility, we need Vitality, and we need Luck. So any additional crit would be helpful. So sharp is going to be the way. Attack speed, agility, or simple crit on your enchant is very helpful. If you have all of those or you have already those on other gears, then intelligence for magic defense or HP, max HP. Now for the modification, normal attack damage would be the one to increase your sacrifice damage or 
your specific skill or Holy Cross, Grand Cross, whatever you're usually using. Now, for the Refine, it's going to be first among your priority since the weapon damage, additional damage bonus that the Refine gives also affect your damage of any character, okay? Let's now go to the Armor. For the Armor, we're going to be set for Goibins, okay? So the reason why the either the Spear Stab or the uh, Sacrifice build is going to be the way to go for most of the Paladins out there is because it's going to be less expensive as compared with the Holy Cross and Grand Cross since you would only need Goibins armor okay i know you can also go for goibans armor on holy cross and uh, grand cross but you have that a lot that set of options would you go with magical attack or physical damage physical attack or just go for tankiness in sacrifice when you go for goibans you achieve tankiness you achieve hp and you also achieve damage in a way so goibans are more now for the card, of course, increased HP, whatever you are on the game, in terms of the cards of the armors, I would suggest for you to go for higher HP. Whatever uh, abilities or skills you're dishing out, whatever build you are using, go for higher HP. That's why Peko Peko card is the best. Next would be Mark card for PvP or for guild versus guild events. Um, Cornutus for certain 3v3 or 5v5 or PvP also. And the ultimate goal is the Tau Gunka. Because he has the Tau Gunka. That's the reason why his HP is now reaching. If we're gonna be looking at this, it's now reaching 700. And it's own it's it can also be hyped up a little bit more. Um, a while ago, I was looking at 784,000 out of PvP. It's still going to be multiplied by 3 inside PvP areas. So, this is the base HP that he has, 763,000 HP. And that is attributed by our Tau Gunka, which increases your HP, HP by 100%. All right, so let's go back to our uh, to our armors. Okay, so now let's talk about the enchants. For the enchants, of course, on armor we would need the shining because we need additional HP, of course, or base HP or flat HP or vitality in general. Now, let's go to the modification. For the modification, vitality again, or if you don't. If you can't have a high vitality, then magic damage reduction is also good. But vitality is the best one. Now, for the refine, it's going to be for resonance. Next would be shield. So, for the shield, I've already discussed which shield would be used when I was discussing the weapons. So, again, holy shield for sacrifice and devotion. Cross shield for shield boomerang. And naga shield for for Reflect Paladins. Now, for the card, I would only suggest Sting Card because in Sting Card, you can increase your HP by 7.5% easily because it's still a blue card. It's just a blue card. And at the same time, it has magic damage reduction. So in my opinion, this is the best card for your shield. Next would be um, Tharafrag Card or Horn Card, but those don't have HP percentage additionals. Next would be Enchants. For the enchants, benediction for additional magic damage reduction or vitality. I would uh, he says that you could go more for vitality for the enchants. For the modification, of course, again vitality or magic damage reduction if you don't have, but vitality is really suggested. For refine, also for resonance. Now for the garment, again we will be using the Goibin's armor or Goibin's spolder. And for the card, it's easily attainable for the card. It is just here at our Courage Shop. Where is the Courage Shop? On our global server, we have the Eclipse card on our Courage Shop. So that means you go for that one because additional that gives you additional HP percentage and vitality. Now for the Enchants, of course, it's still Shining for additional HP. And you could go for Vitality, HP, Flat HP, or MDef if you cannot find Shining. But Shining is the way to go. 
for the modification, it's going to be the same as the modification of the uh, shield. We, if you can go for vitality, go for vitality. Now, for refine, it's just for resonance. Let's go now to the shoes. For the shoes, it's still going to be part of the Goibens, pulled, uh, Goibens set, which is the Goibens Greaves. Now, for the cards, it's going to be either Matir because it increases your agility and also HP percentage. If you have, if you don't want 3% HP, the only thing that is good on 4% HP is Sohi and then the rest would be purple so infernal nightmare is very good because it increases your agility by two and it increases your hp by four percent next would be cat o nine tail it's still purple um it's going to be uh having a chance for you to deflect magic damage done to your character and on aldebaran if you already have if we already have that patch nightmare mimic and alarm clock Alarm clock. Alarm card. Okay. <laughs> enchant. For the enchant, we have, we still have, we want the shining here and vitality, HP, and MDEF. And same modifications, same for the refines. Okay. Now let's go to the accessories. For the accessories, guys, of course, on a level 84 and below, it's going to be necklace. Still necklace. Is that right? Where is that? Okay, this one. It's going to be still going to be necklace. For level 85, it's going to be better because you would now uh, want the golden foot ring. Is this is this this one? Okay, golden foot ring. Okay, additional HP recovery, HP 5% uh, uh, healing received, and physical damage reduction. This is very good. So gold ring is the way to go if you're level 85. And for the level 95, we have Dark Knight Gloves and Dark Knight Belt. Now, for the Vero score, we have a ton of Vero scores here. We couldn't find the translation. As you all know, the translation on the KR server is quite different from the tran translation on our server. So I'm just going to be making this fast, okay? So for the Vero score, we have different types of cores here. For the sacrifice, we would need sacrifice immunity, reinforced faith, crisis resistance, difference of will, and momentum management. For the devotion, we have mirror of reflection, devotion of the light, light's protection, and a song of praise. For the shield and the spear, battle master, Momentum management again, shield bounce, and divine light. So I'm sorry about this. He needs to, you know, log in in the, the account because there are guild events that is happening right now on the KR server. And me, I'm torn because I need to up, uh, upload this at once. That's it. But of course, what is our guide without some damage test? So we're going to be that testing the damage of the sacrifice build so let's go um do we have enough ig yes we have enough ig he says i can use it let's go sacrifice oh 1.8 1.8 1.2 million 4 million oh shit so this is the effect of the plus 50. oh you're gonna die okay <laughs> Look at this! It goes up to 4 million! 4.3! 3.9! 4 million! Look at that! Imagine if this hits you in PvP! Is that 7 million? Is that 7 million? Was that 7 million? Oh my goodness! Yes! Okay, so let's try the spear stab. So we now have this on spear build or spear stab build. Let's go. Spear quick end. There you go. It crits. 5 million. Ooh, 5 million. 2 million normal. 5 million. 5.6. Oh my god. <laughs> and it also gives a uh, stonic blow. Look at that! This is too good! This is too good! 
Oh my goodness, spear stab for the win, guys. So he's getting damaged because of the sigil. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like. Share this with your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Start a new stream or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.